We have another special two reviews exclusive for you. This one on the final days of one man's life, how he chooses to spend them. Manning Franks reviews The Whale starring Brendan Fraser. Let's take a look. In the early 2010s, Brendan Fraser basically disappeared from the silver screen because of a series of factors that included familial loss, multiple surgeries, and a pause on his acting career. Hollywood had essentially turned their back on the star. Now cut to 2022 with the release of The Whale, and Fraser is back in the spotlight with what some are calling an Oscar frontrunner of a performance. Now while that performance may be lauded, the film surrounding him Yeah, that's another story. Are you actually trying to parent me right now? Who would want me to be a part of their life? You don't stay in touch with mom? She really only tells me things about you. Why? Because that's all I want to know about. Based upon the 2012 play of the same name, The Whale stars Brendan Fraser as Charlie, a reclusive English teacher who is also morbidly obese and at risk of congestive heart failure. Through the span of a week, we get a glimpse into the final days of Charlie as he attempts to reconcile with his estranged daughter, come to terms with his past mistakes, and examine his life to see if it has been one well lived. Some films hope that their viewer is stirred toward a natural emotional response. Conversely, the whale demands your emotion, and not in a good way. Whatever subtext may be buried within the film, it quickly, like the audience, gets walloped over the head by its loud and boisterous melodrama. Darren Aronofsky's heavy-handed direction feels like the wrong fit for a film that could have been a rallying cry of compassion. Thankfully, Brendan Fraser elevates the maligned material. Unsurprisingly, Brendan Fraser has been receiving the highest marks of his career so far for his portrayal of Charlie. Fraser brings an interminable kindness and sympathy to a man who has been scorned by the world. And even when the script diverts to the painfully melodramatic, it's the moving naked honesty laid bare by Fraser that can, at times, supersede the film's artificial emotion. He, along with a marvelous supporting turn by Hong Chao, give shining performances that resonate as some of the best of the year. The Whale is unbelievably grueling to both its main character and to its audience, and perhaps that was Ernofsky's goal all along. Well-intentioned or otherwise, the excessiveness of his directorial style really clashes with Frazier's gentle performance. Thankfully, it's that same performance that gives this film, from me, a tepid recommendation. I'm giving the whale a for you to decide. You can see it only in theaters. Boy, just watching, I mean, mm -hmm. just the very small snippets that you showed, I mean, it, it seems like such a sad, depressing it movie. Is, it is a very heavy, depressing movie. And I think that's the, the, the both the, uh, the, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Both the strength and the failure of the movie because he is such a light, Brendan Fraser, fantastic. You guys remember The Mummy or George yeah. the Jungle? Right. I was gonna say, yeah. I can't believe the same guy who played George right. in the Jungle yes. is nominated for an Oscar. He is nominated for an Oscar for this performance. And he actually, I will praise, he is the best part about this movie and Hong Chao, I think it's a supporting player, you saw her a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. They are the reason to see this movie, but it's also just so grueling and mm -hmm. not in like a way where you feel like a rousing sense of joy. It feels so like, wow, artificial, you know, artificial yeah. emotion, like they want you to cry and not in a good way. One of the things I was really impressed with was the makeup and the styling, because I asked you, I said, he's not that large usually, no, but you no. said it was all prosthetics. And yeah, that is mm -hmm. all prosthetics. Mm -hmm. He basically, which is also nominated for an Oscar, uh -huh. the, uh, the, the makeup and the hair styling. Yes, fantastic work over there for the makeup department. Uh, that is basically all makeup. It, apparently it was a 300 pound makeup, like a, a suit that oh he wore gosh. in order for that. Wow. So, and then wow. they probably no added some skin around his face. Yes. So That's got to make his performance better in itself, just feeling that. When yeah. You're oh my goodness, yes. And it's just so nice to see him back in the theater because I haven't seen him in forever, honestly. And he's mm -hmm. such a good and talented and, and talented actor. And mm -hmm. I'm so happy for him and his success he's going to have in the future. Have to check it out. Mm -hmm.